Hello, folks, and welcome back to Brazil in Victoria 2. Oof. Ah, this campaign is uh, actually going pretty well. I mean, I've played as Brazil before, but uh, last time, obviously I didn't record, this was many years ago, uh, I just basically learned towards the end. I mean, I survived as, the, as Brazil, I conquered parts of Bolivia, and um, in the end, I basically discovered that, uh, you know, researching uh, practical steam engines and just this line is very important. This is like, you know, industrial the, the basic of the Industrial Revolution, plus, you know, farming output, very important for a farming country. Farming country it sounds wrong. I, I, what I mean is agrarian-based economy. Now, um, last time when we left off, I said we would take a look a little bit more closely at what is required to... Um, how the production system works here. Actually, it looks like I have to unpause just to see what we produce. Um, for example, timber. We produce uh, sold domestic, sold export. That's very strange. Okay, maybe we just have to wait up f uh, for a month to actually see what's uh, what's happening. All right, so there are some very basic factories that I think are vital for the economy. And that is uh, cement here. We're going to reopen that one. Uh, and we also want a um, small... Where is it? It's called something. Here it is. No? Wait. It was right there. For a second. It's not the... Uh, there we go. Machine parts factory. We need that. Very important for us. So we're going to build one. We're going to go ahead and um, <laughs> research revolution and counter-revolution. It's a pretty dangerous uh, sort of tech here, but uh, yeah, because you've got, uh, you can discover terrorism, you can discover dogma of violence, uh, dogma of mass action, etc., secret police, you also can discover fascists, so, uh, or wait, no, maybe it's the mass politics, that's when, ah, yeah, I don't, this is for the communists, this is for the fascists, I think it was, so yeah, let's do that. Oh shit, I just realized Bahia actually has a machine parts factory. We're going to close that one and open, reopen this one. And uh, hope it does pretty well. We already have an artillery factory, so I'm going to close that one. And uh, we probably want to open a... Uh, I'm opening a lumber mill as well. But we need... There's some very basic things we need. We need... A dye factory would be nice, though. But what does it consume? It consumes... Coal. That's basically it. Uh, cement, we already have. Furniture, I think we already have. Electric gears would be nice. I mean, those are, yeah. We'll, we'll do electric gears here uh, in, in Sao Paulo. Um, and we'll actually stop the capitalists from building this stupid clipper shipyard. I mean, who needs clippers? It's 19, or 1894. Letter campaign. Uh, so we can either gain more liberals in the upper house, or get 10% of the, all the pop, pops in Brazil to be more liberal, and gain one consciousness. Uh, that's a great question. Let's actually take a look at uh, the political situation. We have 35, so 15 would actually be enough to pass a reform. However, having more liberals in general is actually a pretty good idea. So yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Plus, we'll gain consciousness, which is good. Um, ooh. And liberals in Amazonas gain consciousness. Education for women. Right, this is when uh, the suffragettes, uh, suffragette movement begins. So, we'll do that. Ah, there we go. Being a democracy, we're finally getting migration. So, we're getting... What is it? Whoa! We're getting a lot of Chinese people. Uh, so, that's pretty cool. Where are the Chinese going? They're going to... Um, Rio Grande do Norte and um, Amazonas for the most part, and also down here in Sao Paulo. 
Do we get more reactionaries or do we get more liberals? Of course, I'm going to go for the liberals. We're going to try to increase immigration to Rio. And then we're also going to... Let me see. Let me see. Population by Minas Gerais needs some more craftsmen. All right, let's uh, hold an early election. I think we should just hold elections as much as possible to change the ideology of our people. Uh, that's generally how I do things. Not that I have played that many Victoria campaigns, to be honest. Major discovery, secret police. Yeah, a scientist came, come, runs out of his laboratory and is like, guys, guys, I have an idea. Secret police. Or like, imagine the person who discovers terrorism. I think there's a great comic uh, I always forget the name of the guy who makes Paradox Game um, comics, but uh, he has a really funny one where it's like, uh, the scientist is like, oh, I've discovered something great, and it's like, terrorism. We just finished an election, but we're gonna hold one more. The mig migration seems to have stopped for some reason. It looks like the Chinese just decided to come in one big wave. Also, they have westernized. Look at that. They're a great power now in 8th place, so they uh, bumped someone off the list, and I, th I think it was Belgium. Uh, industrial power, I mean, how are they... Oh, it's pure military, right, I see. I mean, in a number, in to number of points, let's see, we have... We have, let's see, we have 6, 12, no, yeah, 6, 12, 11, 12, oh yeah, okay, so there's... No, that's the ranking. Where can I see the... Right, so I have I have 155, 123, and 94. Yeah, so there's quite a ways to go to reach the top. Demand concession from Egypt sounds like a plan. Uh, we have 13 infamy, that's pretty good. Actually, it increases our consciousness. So that's also nice. Vanguard party. Yes, there we go. The Bolsheviks are uh, coming for us. And let's uh, actually look at the uh, rebellion map mode. Let's see. Brazilian communist, not much of a threat. Liberal and anarcho liberal parties have won. Fantastic. Um, I like, yeah, the radical party, 0.04%. And the communists as well, 0.05. Uh, but we are going to hold another election once more. All right, we can actually go ahead and declare war on Egypt. Um, let's do it. Uh, they're not allied with anyone, as far as I can see. No spheres, no anything. Question is, what are we going to take? I mean, if we if we took this, I think things would look a lot better, but uh, we do want to push closer to Cairo, right? So I think we'll go for this region here. I mean, there's also quite a lot of people here, unlike over here. Oh, actually, no, this area is pretty rich, too. Oh, interesting. The Fatherland Volunteers gain 11 prestige. Yes, we're doing that. Excellent. Uh, might boost us up a little bit. There we go. The election is over. We're fighting Egypt there. Um, and we can finally have a um, proper thing going on here. So let's see. What will we encourage? Immigrant attraction. All allowed. Social reform desire going up. Would be nice. Universal vote franchise would also be nice, but uh, I think we're going to go for, um, I mean, who, what do they want the most? Yeah, we're going to go for trade unions all allowed. Boom. Actually, I just realized the election is not under, or not over, it's still underway, so the liberals might win again, and then we can pass m even more reforms. Ah, not even a coalition. Oh yeah, no, yeah. The liberal and um, others joined together. Let's see what they can do. Uh, we have to wait until the 4th of July, 97. To enact another reform. 
All right, we're gonna wait. May Day Parade. The red banners flutter before the winds, and people of all ages come out to watch as socialists, communists, union members, and workers of all ages come together in a protest march all across the country commemorating the deaths of seven demonstrators at the Chicago Haymarket Massacre in 1886. While an annually returning celebration in almost every city in Brazil, this year's... Uh, Incarnation has been particularly successful in one of our states where uh, an upsurge in socialist militancy and consciousness can be expected. Yes, we don't want militancy, we want consciousness. Oh, I can't begin to explain how much this bothers me. Like, it's fine that Alaska is finally connected to the mainland US, but uh, I feel like uh, the Americans could at least have these, like all of these, and then all of that as well. The, or the Canadians could just take everything. Ugh. Also, straight lines bother me. Like, straight line borders. Uh, hmm, I don't like them. All pops become more liberal. Yes. Egypt would surrender, but I want to add more stuff. However, for that we actually need uh, more jingoism. So, we're gonna have an election now and hopefully that we have events that uh, encourage jingoism. Here's the problem though, I just realized. We're raising consciousness, which means that uh, raising jingoism is much, much harder. Uh, so we might actually just want to take the peace, or we completely occupy Egypt and just wait a little bit. We've finally discovered realist art, even though, you know, it's been around for a while. And um, we have an upper, new upper house of a bunch of liberals and socialists. Uh, which means we can finally pass some interesting things here. So voters ideologies and people's ideologies. Ooh, 4% of the population are actually communist. Should I do non-secret ballots? Proportional or universal? Let's do universal. Yeah, this next election is going to be Amazing. All right, and we can enact women's suffrage in 1898. That's pretty early, but uh, militancy and non-colonial. Excellent. Boom. Integral rail system. I see battle fleet. Yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, let's uh, hold the elections again. I can't wait. I need. Uh, I need to. Um, get more jingoism. All right, all pops in Brazil become 10% more in favor of jingoism. That's what I need. Hopefully that, uh, yes, add war goal, demand concession. So what do we want to demand? Do we want to keep pushing north or do we want to make our borders look nicer? That is the great question. I think we're gonna keep pushing north here and then if we can, we'll add uh, one more after it. So, uh, what's this area called? It's called... It's just called Egypt? I guess? No? Middle Egypt, right. Go to diplomacy, add war goal. Uh, before we do that, though. 16 of me. Okay. Add, cons add war goal, demand, Middle Egypt. Proceed. You know what? We're gonna add Sudan here. Uh, this, of course, is going to push us over our infamy limit, but uh, it's just over the, the limit, so we might actually be able to make it through this, uh, I think. Ah, there we go. They would accept the offer. Proceed. And let's watch this. Oh, yes, much better. I don't necessarily like that, of course, because of the horrible border gore, but uh, I'm okay with it, you know. We got more stuff. Also, if Ethiopia would just, if the Brits would just let go for once. Ooh, Sweden offers an alliance. That is interesting. What's your place in the world? Your population smaller than mine. Ah, I'm gonna accept. Also, okay, so here we go. We finished a war and suddenly the migration shoots up. Not really sure why, uh, but let's take a look at who 
is migrating. We've got lots of Chinese. And the Chinese seem to love Brazil. And they're going mostly to the countryside, it seems. Anyone going to the colonies? No. Alright, the upper house has been rearranged and uh, we can finally ask for some reform here. Proportional representation doesn't really do much. I mean, obviously it does, but uh, we would uh, prefer to do the non-secret ballots because of the immigration attraction. And actually, maybe that's what's driving migration. The fact that we've been passing reforms. Whoa, Ecuador, what are you doing? You have a bunch of Colum or Grand Colombian nationalists. Now that might be interesting to see if uh, that is ever reformed. I was actually thinking maybe we should play as Ecuador next up. It'd be uh, pretty cool. <laughs> wow, I mean, the Chinese just love Brazil. That's... It's fascinating. Ah, we can actually change this to either acceptable minimum wage or acceptable pensions. What are we gonna do? Acceptable minimum wait, was it acceptable minimum wage? Ooh. That's minimum wage plus sixty percent. And then we're gonna attraction of three percent and then pension level fifteen percent. You know what, let's go for the minimum wage. O jogo bonito, the beautiful game. In 1894, the Paulista Charles Miller came back from England where he had studied with two footballs, a book of rules, a set of uniforms, and the experience of having learned the sport invented by the English. Miller and other English residents in São Paulo play the first match in Brazil in 1895, with the employees of the gas company playing against employees of the São Paulo Railway. The match was played in the valley of Carmo, and uh, the employees of the railroad company won 4-2. Since then, the interest of Brazilians for the sport has increased dramatically. We gain prestige, and we gain militancy. Uh, interesting. Oh, there we go. Reforms can be passed. Proportional representation or secret ballots? Uh, secret ballots it is. And now just look at the amount of immigrants coming in. Obviously a lot from China there. Um, but it's incredible. I mean, 13,000. I'm actually curious. China, where are your... Uh, yeah. We just beat the US in terms of attraction of Chinese immigrants. Um, elsewhere, where else? From the Ottoman Empire, the Russian Empire, Spain, Portugal. It's uh, just amazing. Technically a century doesn't start until the 01 number, but uh, n the 1900s are basically upon us here and we can finally research anti-rationalism. Quantum theory could uh, open up, that's really cool. Alright, we're gonna start the research on that, and then we're gonna go for social alienation, mass politics, we also need the electro power generation, shift work and electric furnace. Uh, those are very, very good and important to have. But yes, new century, new time. And now the final, final um, liberal political reform before we start going over to the social ones, uh, and then thus focusing on socialists, uh, proportional representation. There we go. And with that reform, I think we're also going to go ahead and hold an election. The Commonwealth of Guyan, Guyan, Guyana, Guyana. I, I can't pronounce that in English. I try my best. Guyana, Guyana. Guiana, it is anyway. Um, I didn't notice that they actually were a puppet. I thought uh, thought it was held directly by the British there. But uh, alas, no. Uh, also, I'm very afraid of someone putting me into... Oh, protected by. Oh, what does that mean? In sphere. Oh, you bastard. That's why I'm losing money. I knew it. God damn knew it. Alright, are we ready? November 4th, 1900, let's put the communists in power. And, uh... Yes, this, was gonna, this is gonna be a little bit annoying, but, uh... 
We're gonna take control over all the factories. Yeah, let's actually open all the factories and also subsidize all the factories. I know it sounds crazy here, but if we look at um, where where are the subsidies? There's a tab here for industrial subsidy zero. Okay, and then eventually that will go up, but it's going okay. I mean, we can lose in certain aspects because uh, we're just making so much money from everything else that it doesn't really matter. Ooh, Germany actually took Austria. Wow, so Hungary is a secondary power. They actually just offered me an alliance, that's why I noticed that. But uh, Europe is looking very, very different from what I usually see. Ah, we've actually discovered n nihilism. Uh, I think we were the first, so we actually get... Prestige there, offer alliance, Algeria, no, you're still in the sphere. Ethiopia, you're still in the sphere. Hmm, damn it. Oh, Ottoman Africa. The Ottomans have expanded into Egypt there. And I'm thinking... Actually, no, we still have quite high infamy there. Alright, let's hold an election and slowly move ourselves into uh, reform territory. Quantum theory. All right, we did it first. Fantastic. All right, next reform is acceptable school system. Uh, I mean, I'd think for fourteen-hour workday, but I think um, school system is better here because more people want it as well. We actually have such a huge immigration from China that I'm curious to see if we can find any. Chinese here. I mean, in Sao Paulo I saw that there were Portuguese and Bulgarians. Bahia, let's see, North German, Brazilian, Portuguese, Afro-Brazilian, Nefarian, Maranhão maybe, no? Amazonish, Yi, there we go. Alright. Yeah, so we've got a huge group of immigrants. I mean, just look at, let's see, migrations. Just in the last month, 8,126 from the Chinese Empire. Avant-garde intelligentsia. Um, I'm actually gonna skip that one. It doesn't really give us that much of a bonus. Uh, it just gives us penalty. I mean, it's really cool and all, but it's not worth it. Also, look at prohibition. Yeah, I'm not gonna pass that, so I'm not gonna let it tell me. Uh-oh, it happened. It happened. We have surpassed uh, surpassed China as a great power, or we will rather. We're still a secondary power, but very soon uh, China is going to fall out of this, and we are going to take over. So yeah, GG. All right, now I was I was completely wrong. Uh, looks like Belgium just surpassed us for some reason. <sighs> Life is uh, life is shit sometimes. There's some rain outside, so if you're hearing uh, tickling, it's actually my uh, it's on my roof. It's not my roof; it's a window. Like uh, I have a roof window. Anyway, uh, you can actually see that uh, Brazilians are immigrating to the U.S., Australia, and Canada, which is actually quite interesting, considering that you know a lot of other people are coming over here. Something I didn't notice is that Germany actually became um, democracy. Not entirely. They're a, a, um, a monarchic. What's it called? Oh god. I forgot the word. The most important word in the game. Constitutional monarchy, yes. They also have the Prussian uh, constitutional monarchy form of government, but uh, it seems like they became um, a more democratic form of that and might become a republic soon enough. It's really cool how factories are opening up under the Communist Party though, because I, I used to think, maybe maybe the uh, Paradox updated it, uh, but it used to be that, um, you know, with the plan economy I have to personally open up all the factories, but it looks like factories are actually opening up on their own, uh, and maybe it's by the workers. I'm not sure though. I, I can't really say because I, I don't I don't know. Oh, universal healthcare movement. All right, we really need to pass those reforms. Those will be very important. 
The Dutch offers an alliance, and I think I'm gonna take it. I mean, they are a secondary power. And there was something else I was gonna say. I almost forgot. Right, Belgium has fallen behind again. We might take the their place as um, in the eighth place here, but it's very fragile. I mean, we really need to get our score up, and we're gonna do that by expanding our military um, by quite a bit, actually. Uh, let's get some more artillery as well, and maybe some guards. Right, and one more thing. Uh, I discovered why, you know, even if I encourage bureaucrats in uh, the colonies, they actually have to be Brazilian, in, of Brazilian nationality, which is uh, very interesting, because then it starts, makes me think, you know, how do I make, or like, how do I assimilate uh, these regions? Uh, I and I, I just don't have any answer to that, so I'd really be really happy to know, because uh, it'd be nice to be able to you know have even more land and make this uh, core territory of the Brazilian uh, Empire. All right, time for the next reform. Which one shall it be? And I think it's going to be good school system, just for that extra educational efficiency. I know we're at at the very top there. But, I mean, it could be 14-hour workday as well. But then we lower factory throughout put, which I don't necessarily want to do right now. Yeah, you know what? Let's have a good school system. We actually have had so many people coming in from Asia that 1.8% uh, uh, of the population follow the Mahayana faith. So that's uh, really cool right there. I uh, don't really know where they're present though, like, cause, okay, is it over here? Culture, ideology, I wish I could see their religion, I probably can, but, uh, I just don't know how. Here we go, a third way, strength through unity, so fascism, um, has arrived, so to speak, so, uh, yeah, we can't actually see it yet, because there's no country of that sort, but we might get uh, the party soon coming to Brazil. There we go. We are a great power, and immediately we're going to start influencing people. Let's look at our sphere, or the spheres of the world. We're going to try to get Colombia in our sphere, uh, top priority right there. We want... Um, Ethiopia, probably, although that needs competition. Let's go for the easy pickings first. Can we do China? I mean, that would be... Are people fighting over it? No. Interesting. All right. We'll, uh, we'll do Ethiopia as a uh, not very high priority. And uh, hmm, who else? Who else? Maybe we can start competing for... Yeah, we'll really have to compete against the British and the Americans for, for stuff. But Portugal could definitely be a secondary priority there. There's also a crisis going on, and uh, the Ottoman Empire is asking us to back them. I'm not going to choose anything yet. Wow, the moment the British step in, the Ottomans cede. Uh, good thing I didn't uh, step on the Ottoman side. Uh, so yeah, Greece is growing. Aquarembo has uh, been under our control long enough to be considered a core. Great to know. Oh, it's actually maybe tight nationality because we just passed 50%. Very nice. All right, and uh, how's it? No, actually no. Yeah, because this is lots of Brazilians. How's nationality doing, by the way? Maybe we should uh, take a look at that. We passed 50% there. Have we started? Coming over here at all? No? Interesting. And we're gonna take the 14 hour workday now. Ah, glorious, glorious. Good things. The USA offers an alliance. Yes, baby, yes. Of course, we're probably gonna co come into conflict with one another, but uh, at least, you know, this helps me out. In fact,. Who else do we want to influence? Like we, maybe the Ottomans could be an interesting market, although they are always in conflict with the British and the Russians, so perhaps not. Our nation is one of the most prestigious great powers on earth. From Rio de Janeiro to far, 
Flung provinces beyond our flag flutters proudly in the winds, striking fear into the hearts of anyone who dare oppose, dare oppose us. In celebration of our dominance and just reign, an imperial parade is being planned in Rio de Janeiro. The question that now pos uh, poses itself is, should we invite foreign dignitaries to this joyous occasion, or shall we simply conclude that no other nation is fit to bask with us uh, in our place in the sun? Of course, I'm gonna let everyone join, otherwise... I mean, they'd lose prestige, but... Here I gain prestige, and I want prestige. I want all the prestige. Ooh, look at that factory in here. Six, level 6, it employs almost 60,000 people. And this one, 8, just to make liquor. Holy shit, but this one makes so much money, though. We're gonna expand that, and... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Should we keep expanding? We, we need... We need more people. Actually, show empty states. Do we even have empty states? No, no we don't. Tensions between ourselves and great powers have erupted in Colombia over the issue of criminal investigation. We are going to assert our position. In fact, we were discredited by the United States, but... Uh... Oh, we actually went to Cordial. That's good. How is China doing? We are... Still neutral. Are we even gathering points at all? Doesn't look like that. Uh, but in Portugal, 16. Actually, why are we not gathering any points? Why is it so difficult? Population. Okay, yeah. Alright. So we'll, uh, we'll try something else. Anyway, I've talked long enough. We're 29 years away from the end of the game. And uh, so I think we shall also end this episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. This being Game Gabster. As always, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.